Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung refrigerator front caster wheel. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new front caster wheel. The front caster wheel is what the refrigerator rolls on. The manager should be changing it out if it's damaged and the refrigerator is not rolling properly. In order to change the front caster wheel, we're going to tip the refrigerator towards the side so it's more stable. There's one of these on each side, so just tip it whichever way you need to. Once you have the fridge tilted, you can put a piece of wood underneath there to hold it up. Now that we have the refrigerator tilted up, we have access to the front caster wheel. You can see that the manufacturer crimped the axles on there so we can't get it off. So we're just going to take a hacksaw blade and cut the axle and we're going to have to replace that when we change the wheel. Once you have the axle cut off, you can push it through so we can pull the wheel off. Here's the old front caster wheel next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Looking at the old axle, you can see they crimped it with some sort of machine. It's pretty heavy metal. We're not going to be able to crimp that with pliers or anything. So we're going to drill a small hole and put a cotter pin through this end to hold the axle in place. We're going to put the axle in a vise to hold it while we drill the hole. Once you have it secure, we're going to take a center punch and just put a little mark there so we can get the drill started. We're going to give it a few taps with the hammer. Once you have the hole marked, you can just use whatever size drill matches up with the cotter pin that you're going to use and drill it through. Once we have the hole drilled, we can take the axle out of the vise. And then we can use it to put the front caster wheel onto the refrigerator. To put the new front caster wheel in, we're going to line it up in between the brackets and push the axle through. Once you have it through, we're going to push the cotter pin through. Once you have it pushed through, we're going to take our wire cutters and push the cotter pin over. Once you have it pushed over, you can cut off any extra. Once you have the cotter pin in, we can put the refrigerator back on its feet. To put the refrigerator back on its feet, we're just going to carefully lift it up and pull the block out, and we can slowly set it down. Once you have it on its feet, you can plug it back in and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.